Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I actually spent all day just doing some mundane grinding that would be boring for a video. I got, just went out, got a tons of materials, brought them back, crafted some things, and um, now I think we're ready to actually do something a little bit new. And today, rather than just doing a kind of like a base based thing, base based thing, that doesn't really sound right. Rather than doing something based around trying to bring materials back here and build up and do things like that, I actually want to go out and explore just for the sake of exploring. I want to actually see how big is this world. So what I want to do is I want to build a new car because I got some new parts that are going to be great for this new car. And I want to go out and I just want to drive in a direction and I want to go and go until I reach the end. Whatever the end may be. I don't know what the edge of this world looks like. Is it like water and then we can't go anymore? Is there a wall like there is in creative mode? Like what's the deal with the survival map? Before we do this though, let me catch you up on what's new since the last time uh, you saw a video. As you can see, I got a lot more storage chests around. I know it's really messy, but this is a temporary base anyway. Um, I've also linked up another large storage here and it turns out that if these storages are linked into each other, the materials of both of these get applied to the grinder here and oh look at this it's finished I have a whole bunch more storage now and uh, I'm gonna be putting a lot of these storage on the new vehicle I'm gonna be uh the new looting vehicle I'm gonna be building so I've also made changes to my uh resource collector here I actually just finished a whole load that just got scavenged and put into here so we have a bunch more metal let me put this metal in our storage chest over here. We got a bunch more metal now for crafting purposes. But now I got two drills and I did have these drills actually spinning around a center point too, but that turned out to not really work. It was only hurting, it wasn't really helping. Having static drills that spin on a on a fixed point seems to be a lot more, uh, a lot more efficient. There's a, a cow getting hoarded by a couple farm bots over there uh so what i have now is these two drills so press one to turn them on they spin pretty fast because i have a level three engine going into them i also have a level five engine now for the vehicle itself and oh it sounds great and i have another level five engine on my looting vehicle over here too which we're going to be tearing that down and building something new um, but, as you see, the drills go on, and then I press this button, and I can extend the piston. I now have pistons. A couple of pistons. And now, here's the cool thing about the pistons, if you haven't seen it already. These are upgradable. Ooh, I could upgrade it right now, should I? Let's do it, just to see... Alright, now we have a bigger limit and a bigger speed, so let's see what the difference is. Alright, not bad. So, I figured, I haven't actually used the piston yet on this for uh, harvesting or mining purposes. So, I don't know how much of a, of a help that's going to be. I just found myself getting stuck with rocks that were just out of reach because other rocks were blocking me. And I feel like just being able to push ahead and start making contact is going to help out a lot. Another new thing you might notice is we now have a gas canister. So, this hooks up into any engines you have on here. And you fill this with fuel. And then that fuel just automatically gets fed into the engines as needed. Uh, so these, there's still fuel in here, but this isn't even being used anymore. You may say I have a bunch of this stuff because these are six durability. So I kind of want to use them for defenses at some point. Over here, these three chests are protection things that I might be using. So we have a bunch of these sheds. We have a bunch of blocks. Air conditioners are also six durability. So I've been collecting air conditioners. The udders are six durability. Yeah, I also have a bunch of like, these are basically like base parts. So I have a bunch of lights for when I build a new farm. I'm going to be building a much, much bigger farm. Not this episode, but soon. I have a bunch of stuff planned for future episodes, but this episode is going to be all about exploration. And then here are a bunch of the new parts I got. So I got some sport suspension. I got two vacuum pumps. The other one's actually being used right now. I have an electric engine, which is terrible and a little bit glitched. Right now, if I hook a switch into an electric engine, it doesn't work. The switch cannot turn off the electric engine. The electric engine just stays on the whole time, even when the switch is off. So I don't know what's the deal with that. I wanted to use it on the drill, but I can't. I also have some controllers when we actually start, wanna be, uh, start wanting to program some things. 
And yeah, pistons, and I made a bunch of bearings as well. So over here, I just have, I'm saving up on like food and just, yeah, food related things pretty much. Actually, I need some more beets for our adventure. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a decent amount. No, I don't need a decent amount of food because we're gonna be looting stuff too, probably. Oh, this doesn't belong there. This belongs over here. These are all of our planting materials. So you can see I've been stocking up. A really cool thing, check it out. I found two banana seeds and I found two blueberry seeds. So these are my first of those type of seeds. So when we have another crop, we're gonna be planting blueberries and bananas. You may notice something's missing. Unfortunately, our glow bug has disappeared. He has escaped. So that's that's very sad. Um, you may notice we have some new parts over here too. I have a saw blade. I don't really, I'm not gonna use the saw blade yet um, because I don't really need wood right now. So I just have it there. I built it and I have it there now. And I found some garment ones, including a rare one. The purple one is apparently rare, but I have yet to build a dress bot yet. We're gonna be saving that for another episode. Man, I am overwhelmed with how many things I wanna record, but one thing at a time, Scrap Man. All right, what else, what else is new? Oh yeah, look at all the water we have. Do you wanna know how I got so much water? You probably know if you've been watching other people who are farther than me, but I'm going at my own pace, okay? I'm gonna go at my own pace, but let me show you something awesome with the vacuum pumps. Before, in order to get water, I had to take a bucket full of water over to the craft bot, and then it would take the water and craft it into those little water canisters. But now, look at this thing. This thing just fills up with water, and then check it out. This vacuum is just sucking up water out of this uh, lake here, and it goes at this rate. So I just take the water. Here, I'll take the rest here. I bring it back. And um, before I get back, I'll show you. This is my system for watering right now because I, I don't have a system with the water hose just yet. I'm gonna wait till I have a bigger farm for that. So I have all of these just sitting here. So I plant and then I water and then I fill them back up and I put them back down here. So that's kind of a cool system. But no crops now because we do not want to have to deal with a raid. We're gonna be going exploring. We don't even know if we're gonna be uh, saving our progress for this one. We're just kind of, this is an informational scouting experiment. So yeah, bring the water back here and actually we're kind of full right now. So I'm going to put it in my extra storage. So I have, this is just like backup storage for when I need room in here. Um, also I put my craft bot to level five and level five opens up all of these slots and reduces the time by almost half for your crafting uh, capabilities. All right, am I missing anything? Are we all updated now? I think we're pretty much all updated. So what I'm gonna do is build, uh, we're gonna do a, another build and we're gonna build a scouting vehicle to go as far as we possibly can. I got another level five engine here. This thing could go really, really high if we wanted it to, but uh, let's get to the actual build. I have a whole bunch of concrete here, as you can see. And that's going to make it uh, a little bit more durable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think the vehicle is ready. Um, I didn't know that suspension is also an upgradable piece like the pistons are, which I should have known. I should have assumed that. But uh, so right now, the, the suspension is completely compressed because we don't have the stiffness limit um, upgrades. So as we go out and scaven and explore and hopefully find loot chests and stuff, we'll get some upgrades and we can upgrade on the go, I hope. So my main concern with this is this is a lot heavier, I think, than I was planning on it being. I forgot how heavy concrete was compared to wood. I haven't even driven this thing actually yet. So let's see how this goes. Actually, this is pretty smooth, all things considered. This is really, really smooth, and I don't think we're gonna really be flipping over. All right, so I had full fuel. So let's see. I've used none yet. That's a good sign. That is a really good sign. By the way, listen to this engine sound. This is a level five engine. Is that awesome or, awesome or what? All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is it's gonna get dark kind of soon. So I'm gonna wait until morning and then we are going to go off on our adventure. I'm just gonna do a little bit of probably crafting in the meantime, see what we can do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is rising. All I did all night was craft sand. Uh, don't ask me why I crafted sand. That was just one of the things I could keep on crafting and keep on crafting. And I feel like that's gonna be useful for glass later when we wanna create a bunch of tubes. The sun rises directly behind us. So if we keep going away from the sun as long as we can, then I think we can find our way back, maybe. I don't know. That this is the beginning of our journey, our very, epic journey to the edge of the map. 
the journey to the end of the world. That's like literally what this is. Just uh, in scrap mechanic. All right, I've been thinking about like how I want to build an actual base once we get, that's like a later stage thing. You need a lot of materials if you're gonna build a real base. What did we just, oh, we hit corn. Um, oh, there's another warehouse. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be a wheat field. And I was like, where's the wheat? It's not rendering. Look at this little hole. It's like a little oasis. And we're about to hit, uh, we're, our path is very severely blocked right now. All right, we're gonna have to go all the way around this. Oh man, the suspension, the suspension's actually dropping my frames, I think. I haven't had frame drops in a while. This vehicle is actually kind of laggy. I'm gonna hit this cow just because he's in the way. Oh, okay. See, look, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. You know what? I think it might be my draw distance. I'm gonna turn the draw distance down because we are constantly discovering new stuff right now. All right, what about this place? Let's see if we can find some loot in here. Oh, by the way, I found a new OP strategy for fighting hordes of, of uh, hay bots. So let's see if I can get a couple hay bots after me here. All right, let's get this guy after me. You can tell how confident I am just by, by the, oh, that's a dead end. Uh, just by the fact that I want more hay bots coming after me. All right, so this actually takes a little bit of coordination. It's not the easiest thing to do, but if you're surrounded by hay bots like this, put a lift down, jump on the lift, get up. All right, so now what you have to do, they hit your lift down. So make sure your lift is on a button that you can easily press while you're holding crouch and while you're swinging the hammer, because you can keep pushing yourself back up and keep yourself out of reach while you hit them. And uh, this totally works, and you, you don't take any damage. Just make sure that you're keeping track. Wasn't there three? Oh, there he is. I was like, they better not be going after my vehicle. Just make sure you're keeping track of your height. Uh, the way that I do it, you can see I have my mouse, uh, my mouse buttons on my thumb. I can just hit those buttons with my thumb, and that makes me go up and down. So yeah, that's a really, really effective way to deal with uh, hordes of hay bots or anything really. All right, there wasn't really a whole lot there, but we also have a loot chest right up here and another rock wall ahead of us. Man, we're having a lot of uh, obstacles that we have to detour around, but I'm gonna keep going away from the sun. Oh, nighttime is going to be difficult. I don't know if the moon takes the place of the sun at night but it might be difficult to keep our navigation in a straight trajectory if we don't have the sun to guide us. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I know what this is. Remember that uh, weird looking water that we saw from a distance? It was near something like this green pillar right here. So we might have another one of those. I don't even know if this might be the same one. All right, ready for this? Uh, credit to John Bain. Uh, if this works, I think it might be too far away though. If I die, though, my bed, I got in that bed, so we should be good. All right, ready? <gasps> oh, you see that? So you jump off and you get in your seat or your bed. You just hold, just spam E as you're jumping down towards it, and then you don't take any fall damage. All right, so the sun's there. Let's head back up. Oh, no, we're going over here. We're going to check this out. Oh, look at this. Oh, I meant to bring buckets with me. Because I think what this is... This is a chemical pond, but I don't think I can interact with this right now. I meant to bring buckets for this purpose, because I think you can you can pick up the chemicals in a bucket, but I don't have buckets with me, so at least it's not going to slow down our journey to the edge of the world. All right, sun is back there. We're going to head up these hay fields. Now, I feel like... Uh oh there's a farm bot. Um, the corn is a solid object and it stops you dead. And I feel like if you're going fast enough to knock over a farm bot, you should be able to blast through the corn and have it not interrupt you. But uh, that doesn't appear to be how it works. All right. Man, there's a lot of these big warehouses that I'm not supposed to go to. So we're just going to keep going. I just really want to find the edge of the map, you know? I don't know how big this world is compared to creative. We all know how... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, this is cool. This is my first time seeing a burnt forest biome outside of the starting zone. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't attack my vehicle. Don't attack my vehicle. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. All right, we're good now. We got our OP strategy here. It's getting nighttime too. Here we go. All right, we're good. Ooh, a component part from that guy. Man, it is so dark here. It's dark and the ground is black. So that's just like, you know, not a good times. 
Man, uh, it's gonna take- oh wait, it won't take that long, because these things- you don't have to break these things down. Yeah, alright, I'm definitely harvesting all these trees while I'm here. I'm just gonna spend the night harvesting this entire area. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a long night. Alright, the sun's finally coming up, so I wanted to harvest all these burned ember trees. But, uh, it's gonna take so- there are so many! But you could get- if you spent, in, like, a couple hours here, or an hour here, you could probably get them all, and you would have so many burned embers. Let's see how many I actually got in just the one night that I spent here. I think I put my burned embers in here. So, yeah, check this out. This is all burned embers just from that one experience, and I just spent the night there. Alright, so the sun is there. Let's continue along our way. What's stopping me? A little branch there. And we're gonna see where our journey leads us. So I'm not stopping. I gotta remind myself not to stop at anything that isn't new. Like where- Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna double check that I'm sleeping in my bed because there's a boss. And I don't know if I'm ready to find out. You know what? I'm going to- I, I don't know what to do. I want to experience the boss, and this is all about exploration and experiencing new things. So I'm gonna, I want to leave my vehicle somewhere where it's gonna be okay, and I want to see if the lift method will work on the boss. But there's a farm bot down here for, or a hay bot down here first that I want to get. We're gonna do it. We're gonna fight the boss this time. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, strategy time to use the strategy. All right, and stay on, stay on, stay on. All right, here we go. I have a feeling, like, the boss looks like he has a gun. I have a feeling if I do this, he might just shoot me with a gun, you know? Alright, did they give me anything good? Nope. Alright, where is he? I saw him up here. Um... No, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Where's my vehicle? The vehicle's down there. Is he looking at me? Does he know I'm here? I don't know what their radius is. Their sight radius. Alright. Um, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't have a spud gun or anything. Alright, what I kind of want to do, I want to sneak up on him. I want to put a lift down. And then I want to get his attention. How do I get his attention? He's gonna shoot me. I feel like he's just gonna shoot me, you know? I've never- I haven't seen a battle with the boss yet, so I don't know how it goes. I just know that he probably takes a lot of hits. And I don't know how fast he is compared to me sprinting, either. I don't want to fight him in the woods, where there's no visibility. Oh, this is rough. Oh, where's my vehicle? There's my vehicle. Oh, he's coming after me! Okay, here it goes, here it goes. How fast is he? How fast? He looks pretty fast. Alright, alright, alright. I gotta put my lift down. Ready? Oh, what? Did he just jump up on my lift? All right, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. No! No! <laughs> oh, I made a mistake, guys. I made a mistake. And if I get in my vehicle, he's gonna he's gonna hurt the vehicle. Alright, I need to use the terrain to my advantage somehow. I need to find a spot. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't put my toilet down on that. Oh, you got me 35 damage. 35 damage, ouch. Oh, can I do this? No, 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 no. Oh, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? What do I do? What do I even do here? What do I even do? Did I lose him? Looks like I lost them. Alright, I'm gonna try another experiment. I'm gonna try another experiment here. Alright, come after me. Right, I'm gonna sneak up on him. He's trying to jump. He's trying to jump on me. Am I even hitting him? I'm not hitting him. Ow! Alright, he hit me. I wasn't, like, my hammer wasn't making any noises like it was doing any damage. Can you not hurt him with the hammer? He's still chasing me? Yeah, he's still chasing me. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. 
All right, all right, here we go. Is that just the noise it makes on him? Am I do- I don't know if I'm doing damage. I'm just gonna keep doing this. He's not moving for some reason. Please, just stay here. What was that? He did 60 damage. 60 damage. And I was above him. He's still coming after me. I don't think I can beat him. I don't know if I was doing any damage either. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head on out. That's uh, that's not happening. Clearly, I tried. I tried, people. I tried. Oh, I have upgrade uh, units. I can upgrade my suspension now. All right, ready? Upgrade. Stiffen. There we go. Look at that. Upgrade. Stiffen. Uh, this back here is gonna be a little bit more difficult. There we go. Upgrade. Stiffen. Upgrade. Stiffen. All right. Now let's see how this feels. All right, we're a little bit raised up now. Hopefully that's not gonna affect us in a negative way. And we're still going away from the sun. All right, excellent. All right, who cares about Haybots? Nobody cares about Haybots right now. We're exploring the world. We are a pioneer. It's really tempting to try to loot these places, but I have a mission, okay? I wanna see just how long it takes. Oh, are we here already? Is this the end? Is the water... Does it just end with the ocean? Oh, 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 hold on. <sighs> oh, hold on a second. What is this? Oh, I'm getting some frame drops as we're loading in new stuff. Oh, that warehouse is probably loading in. Look at that. There is an island. Man, is there an island even further out? Look at those. There are islands actually pretty far out. Whoa! Gold chests just sitting right here. All right, blueberries. Suspension. That's cool. All right, man, this is a laggy part of the map for some reason. I'm getting really low frames right here. Oh, wow, I got a lot of people coming at, or a lot of bots coming after me. All right, so there's some islands out there. So I guess I'm just going to start heading sideways to the shore. I'm just gonna follow the shoreline and see where it leads me. That's really cool that there's uh, islands. This might be the edge. At least for land, you know? All right, this is- I've never been this close to this where- to a warehouse like this. Oh man, I can feel it loading in. I've never been this close to a warehouse. Hey, this is- oh, oh, come on, the frames are dropping hard. What is that? Oh, that's just a spotlight. This is kind of like in the trailer where they found one of those bosses. Okay. Hold on a sec. I'm not gonna go in the warehouse. Because I know I'm not supposed to, but I want to see. Oh, no, 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 they do a lot of damage. Hey, they do a lot of damage. Get out, get out, get out, go, 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 go. Get out of here, get out of here. How do I get out of here? Oh, that did a lot of damage. I don't want to die. 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 I thought they were only going to be inside. Where am I going? Is this where the shoreline goes? This is like a dead end. I'm trapped. Okay, I gotta go back this way. How do I get across this pond? Okay, please, please let me fit through here. Oh, oh, I'm a, I'm a chunky vehicle now. All right, we're going around to the other side of this. I need to eat soon too. Okay, um, this is a lot more dangerous than I thought it was going to be. Oh, look, another burned biome. Wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder how many of each type of biome there are in like a world on average. All right, these biomes seem really, really difficult to navigate through. Look at all this like foliage, all these burned trees. Can I go through this? Yes, thank you. All right, we're still following the shoreline over here. I'm pretty much gonna circumvent the whole world, like the entire shoreline. So it looks like what I'm learning right now is it looks like the world is in fact an island. So we are, am I getting hit? I keep hearing weird noises. All right, I'm gonna eat real quick. Um, how much fuel have we used by the way? Oh, we only used, we haven't even used one uh, stack of fuel yet. So that's really good. 
All right, so I thought I was gonna like go straight to the edge and then find a, a definitive edge and then just head straight back. But no, there's not really a definitive edge, is there? It's more of just a shoreline. So I think we're gonna circle around. And then the question becomes, like I'm heading directly back home now, kind of. But the question becomes, uh, how close is the shoreline to our starting area? Ow. Dang corn. That looks like a nice island over there. Doesn't it? Is that a whole island? Hmm. Oh no, we got another warehouse. Dang, that... <laughs> what just... Did you see that? That was weird. Yeah, I really think we should be able to drive through the corn and it should drop the corn like as you destroy it. As if you were to hit it with your hammer. Because I mean, running into it uh, with a car should have a similar impact force as a hammer would. Ooh, look at this hill. We're gonna go off this as a jump. Suspension is so good. Not the corn again. <laughs> Ooh, look at this area. There's so much going on in this area. Two small warehouses or destroyed buildings, abandoned buildings, I guess you could call them. And there's a the corn again. Corn has become the new tree. Getting stuck in the corn is now the thing that you dread. All right, we're coming across another body of water. And there's, wow, look at that. Another place just out in the middle of the water. And I think... Can I go around? I think I can go around to the right. So we're going to stick over towards the um, the edge of the world, which is apparently a shoreline. All right, look at this road. Oh, this road is so interesting. This is a cool tile. Yeah, so uh, doing the playing the game this way is like the worst way to play the game for your frames because you're constantly loading in new areas as you're driving around. Where'd the shoreline go? Here it is. All right, I definitely want to... Uh, Ugh. Oh, no. I definitely want to stick to the shoreline as I go around. Hold on a second here. I'm going to pause because I saw some glowy stuff. At least I thought, oh, it was just gaps in the rocks. Never mind. All right. We're continuing along the shoreline. Getting a sense of how big the circumference of the survival world actually is. Oh, nice. Another burned area. And we're also getting to feel, uh, there's no winter though? I guess it makes sense. A burned area makes more sense than like an actual change in climate. <laughs> Cause yeah, the whole the whole world kind of has the same climate, um, but there's but there's just different like little bio, like underwater, we have like the regular land, we got just dirt areas, and then we got the burned forest and that can all kind of coexist in one climate. All right, look at the, oh, look at those rocks. Those rocks out on the ocean look really interesting. Man, but boats, I, I've been uh, hearing some people talk about boats. And it seems like, I haven't used thrusters yet, but I guess they are huge gas guzzlers. And as it stands right now, we haven't seen any evidence of actual propellers or water physics other than buoyancy. Like, there's no indication of water resistance yet. I, it, it's not... I don't know if it's uh, set in stone or not that there's not any water physics, like being able to create propellers or paddles or anything like that. And I wonder if there's actually anything out by those rocks, though. All right, we're continuing along. I'm tempted to go out and just see what's on those rocks. You know what? I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe we can... It'll it'll help spend some time as we get over to the sunrise. All right, here we go. I'm going to do my best to pick up any um, oil on the way. Oh, yeah, look at this. Man, look at those. You can see their whole rock section underwater, too. All right, so this is my first time. I think this is my first time actually swimming in the ocean ocean versus a lake or a pond. Because all of the pla all of the bodies of water that I've been in so far, I think were contained. But look. Oh, yeah. See, look. This just keeps going. This We are at the edge of the uh, survival world here. Oh, I wonder. If I bring a glow bug back and I put him on the car, will he stay on the... Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, I think... I think I found the edge. What? I'm in the water again? That is so weird. There's a strip, like... Moses has part of the sea right there. Apparently there's li there's literally a strip of air that you can walk in underwater 
at the same time. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I can't see a thing right now. I think I have glow sticks on me though. So I'm curious if I use glow sticks underwater or in the water. Here, ooh, let me get on this area over here. This area looks nice. Do I have glow sticks? All right, let's just put this right here. Use this to look around a bit. And then let me just throw one. Let's see how this works. Oh man, you can throw far. Whoa, look at that. All right, well that doesn't really work very well, does it? This is interesting. Is there anything underwater here? No. I wish it was daytime because then we would be able to see what's actually here and appreciate this uh, particular formation. Am I on the outside right now or the inside? Here we go. Here we, oh, here we go. We're on the tip now. All right, I'm gonna try to throw it to that section of land there. I missed. Oh, that kind of did it though. There we go. There we go. And what about that one over there? <laughs> this is awesome. All right, see if I can reach that far one. Ah, oh. all right, let's go underwater here and see what it's all about. Whoa. This is deep. There's, there's a lot of glow slugs here. This is a really cool tile. There's not really not a whole lot to do here though. Oh, it looks like we got some oil over here. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot interesting with the tile or unique with the tile other than just it's a cool rock formation, you know? All right, so I'm going to loot my way back to my vehicle and uh, hopefully it'll be morning by then and we'll be able to continue along our path. I decided to take a glow bug back with me and I discovered a strategy for swimming faster with the glow bug. You pick it up and you drop them repeatedly and you can keep your speed up. So that's kind of a cool thing. All right, I'm gonna put the glow bug right there and we're gonna see if he sticks around. Oh, I see a loot chest already. Oh, look at that, he's sticking around. Oh, and he fell. All right, well, so much for that. All right, we're next to one of these warehouses again. I am not gonna stick around to find any tape bots, that's for sure. They do considerable amounts of damage. Whoa, 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 wait, where does this road go? I thought I was on the edge over here. So then where does this road go? What? Oh no, this is the edge. That was just happened to be another body of water. I think we're going around another body of water. Whoa. Oh, this goes a lot more in this direction than I thought it would. Yay, the sun's finally coming back up. I feel like we're starting to get back towards the starting area. This is reminding me a lot of the starting area tile for whatever reason. Do we see, if you see a smoke plume, you know that we're at the starting area because that's where our crash ship is. So keep an eye out for a smoke plume around here. We have a lot of foliage blocking our view though. I don't see one, so maybe, maybe we're nowhere near home. Ow, dang it. No, this is not the starting area. Whoa, that's a really big tree over there. That's a cool looking tree. All right, it's starting to open up a little bit now. Man, these tiles are so much, you can't, I can't even see the edges of tiles anymore. They said that they were gonna adjust the stitching of tiles so that uh, it was gonna be less obvious, like the lines in between the tiles. And so far they're doing a really good job. I mean, when it's obvious, it's like, it's a different biome. That's the only real obvious thing. Like it's clear the edge of a burning tile. Actually, it may not even be clear because the edge of the burning tile might extend out of the burning part, you know? All right, we got a massive, massive tree here. Oh, that's just, we've seen that tree before. All right, I think, I think we should eventually be near our starting crash point. This has to be near it, right? I'm still not seeing smoke anywhere. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that was, that was one of the first warehouses I went to over there. I think we're close. 
I think we're close to the starting area. There it is! Yep, I just saw the smoke plume. All right, so we're actually getting pretty close to the starting area. So now the curious thing is going to be uh, wrapping around the starting area. How far does it extend backwards or back this way? So it looks like, at least for me, I don't know if this is for everybody. It would make sense if it was for everybody, but it seems like our starting, there's our crash ship right over there. It seems like the starting area is at the corner of the survival map, which is good because that means that as you expand away from the starting area, you really only have one direction to go and it just keeps going. So yeah, we're just, we're circling all the way around our crash ship right now. And I'm just gonna keep going and following the shoreline. And we're gonna get a sense of just how big everything is. All right, so I'm noticing now we are going away from the sun again. And there's our mechanic shop. All right, so what we've done is we've gone straight away from the mechanic shop. We hit the edge of that side of the map. We took a left from that side of the map, circled all the way back around until we hit this side of the map again. And now we are back where we started. So, so much for looting on my way back because we did a circle. <laughs> That defeated the whole purpose of looting on the way back. Oh, that tree's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, gotta be prepared. Always be prepared. It's a survival. All right, we want, we're still stuck in the tree, though. I actually have to use my lift to get this thing out of the tree. All right, so that's still a thing that happened in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, parts can glitch into each other. And yep, this is my, this is my mechanic station. Because I'm pretty sure that there's probably more than one mechanic station on the map. So that could have been the case that this wasn't even mine. But let's see, we're gonna get back to our mechanic station. Let's see how much gas this level five engine with this full concrete vehicle with a bunch of loot chests on it, how much gas did we use? It was completely full at the beginning of the journey. I added nothing to it and we used almost two stacks of fuel. So that's not too bad. We did a lot of traveling and not a lot of fuel was a uh, cost for us. So let's see, what's the, what's the loot that we got? We got all this ember. We got a couple of components stuff here. Um, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, these, these are the actual components. I just meant like uh, consumable parts. And then we got some farming stuff here. So I didn't really do a lot of looting. I think I looted like three or four different places. So the ember was the really big thing. That's gonna be useful later on. So I'm actually gonna take this entire chest and we're just gonna have an ember chest right there. I think we have another empty chest here, so I can put the empty chest right back where I took the previous one. There we go. All set again. Well, things I learned on the journey, the world is an island. Uh, we are surrounded by water, and there are some parting of the sea moments out in the water out there. Also, uh, my first time seeing burned biomes, and there is a lot of ember that you can get at burned biomes, so it'd be really good to make a dedicated trip to one of those soon. And using the sun, it seems like the world isn't so wide. Like the, the shoreline is gonna eventually guide me back to my mechanic station. So I didn't have to worry about getting lost. I feel so much more comfortable exploring now because I don't feel like I'm actually going to get lost thanks to the sun and thanks to the shoreline. So in coming videos, if you're subscribed and uh, you guys wanna see more videos, then what you can expect is I wanna take these guys, I wanna take these guys to the trader. And what I also want to do is um, make a big farm and I, I'm going to move my farm location and make it a lot bigger. I have plans for a new location that's going to be slightly more strategic and I want to make another one of these chests for my, where is it? My, there it is, my vehicle up there. That vehicle, the mining vehicle, is also going to be the trading vehicle. And the reason being is that the big flatbed, we can put the uh, packing, the packages that we do at the packing station. So I'm gonna put these guys on there. I'm gonna figure out how to get these guys up there. And I'm gonna figure out how to uh, transport them to the trader. And we're gonna do a bunch of trading too. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And I think by the time that you guys are watching this video, survival is coming out today, actually. Yeah, I think I'm releasing this video on the 7th, so enjoy. If you're enjoying the series and you want to make sure that you're following it from the beginning step by step, then there is a survival series playlist on the end screen right here for you to check out. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.